Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We got Sam with us today. Hell yeah. And we're currently on a little cliff mark for our two hours exercise and we're going crabbing. So stay tuned. Hopefully you get some big spider crabs. It's Smash Fishing. Woo! What we're using to catch these spider crabs, guys, is our homemade crab wheels. I'm going to be putting a camera on this one today. And uh, how we like to bait them, we've got some fresh mackerel here. Nice oily bait. And you just cut in a nice chunk off. Expose the gut so you've got lots of uh, juices coming out. Uh, to go in through the eye here. And straight across. Just like so. And you want to secure the bait the best you can. And then you're bending it round. And you go straight through the eyelet. And what that does is holds it in the middle of the wheel where the spiders will walk in, fall into the trap, and uh, straight into our cook pot. Uh, we've got four wheels with us today, two for me, two for Sam. What have we got to do for some underwater footage, eh, mate? Hell yeah. <laughs> we've forgotten all the cable toys, so the good old electrical tape, you can't go wrong. <laughs> oh, fresh crab in the morning. Always make sure you've got a good secure hold on a rock because you don't want to uh, lose your wheel. I always like to, to get the uh, batten and that's a good point is when you wrap your rope up, use a piece of batten because if, if the time comes where it flings off the rock, this will float and you can just swim out and get it. That's the first wheel out now guys, about 20 yards out. Uh, a lot of the spiders will be underneath your feet. So we're going to get the other three out. What we do with these wheels guys, we leave them in for 15 minutes at a time and give them a pull. If we don't really get a lot, uh, then we'll leave them in a little bit longer. But 15 minutes is usually enough for a spider crab to go in the wheel. Go on Sam, throw it like you want that seven pound spider. Oh, what a throw! <laughs> Olympic disc discus throw right there! This is a new way we're trying the bait needle. So it's up above the wheel where there's no bar going across. So we wanted to test this out this year and see, see how well it works. Because now the crabs have to reach up for the food. So they'll be sitting in the bottom. Be interesting to see how well it works compared to the, the wire going through the two, the two sides. Sam? Uh, I don't know. You out the wind there, mate? Yeah. Beep. Yeah. See it coming. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, we got a big male, baby. First drop. Woohoo! That's a beast. Oh, yeah. Check this puppy out, guys. Booyah! That's what we came for. Big old spider crab. So there you go, guys. You've seen it going in the wheel. That's what you call a nice size spider crab, not a giant, but that is a beauty. So that won't be cooked up today. We've only been here literally 20 minutes and we've got our first spider. So we've got enough time for a catch and cook today. Let's get that wheel back out there. Chirping with that, eh, Sam? Hell yeah. What we use for bait is just the discards from the catch and cook videos. Um, you can use anything in these, even limpets, and you'll still catch spider crab. I just thought I'd say that because I get asked a lot what's the best bait for spider crab but you'll catch them with anything but fresh mackerel or fish heads with guts uh, they're the hands down the best baits so. though. Going for the second wheel, hopefully, hopefully it's two crabs. When you're pulling these, you want to, with one on the side, you want to pull really hard. It's a female. Yeah, I'll give you a, uh, a show of how to identify the sex. As you can see here, they got small claws and a big round apron. If I just get the male one sec, there you go guys. You see the big round apron on the females, small claws and the males have a straight apron and big claws. That's how you tell the sex of a spider crab. And these, we never keep the females, so these always go back to breed. Uh, all of these will be holding eggs at the moment, so uh, there's no point keeping these. These are our future beasts. Good thing about dogfish's bait is it so tough? Stays on a long time. Yeah, the crabs will never pull it off. Nice bit of scent there. Sounds gonna catch a monster. Go on, Sam. Big guns, discus thrower. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's get those spiders. Go on, Sam. I'm ready for you, boss. Let's go. Big crab. Big crab. Oh, you ain't playing. <laughs> Uh, anything? Nothing in that one? Beautiful view from up here, eh mate? Lovely, eh? Beautiful. Little one. Watching out for the camera. There you go guys. Tiny little spider crab, little male. Quickly give you a little glimpse. Little tiny male spider crab. Absolutely diddy that thing. <laughs> so that'll go straight back. We'll get this one out and we'll get onto the next wheels. Spider. Yeah. First we had a baby male. That's a little baby, tiny female. <laughs> Cannonball. We get her thrown out. Sam's turn. Hopefully you can redeem it with a monster. What are you saying, Sam? A big old spider, possible lobster. Can't see any colour. Sees a dud. The last one of this second pool. 
Let's hope Simon get a nice big juicy spider crab. And it's a dud. It's a dud again. It's a dud again. We're going to be throwing them out further this time. What we're doing at the moment just to pass the time guys got the texas rig on with some gold worms and we're just spinning on the bottom trying to catch some wrasse but the water is quite murky today so we're not having much luck but it's a great way to pass the time i've resorted to a mullet hook and a piece of line and all i'm doing is using my little gold worm and just threading a piece on the hook and I go many species fishing. Here we go, here we go. I'll let him eat it a little bit. Yes, got him! I finally got one! <laughs> it only took me five minutes to get one, but I got one. <laughs> there you go, guys. That's a common goby. Oh, let's get my lure back. That's the goby. Awesome little fish. There's a big one down there that I want to catch. Got another one here guys, little babby one, they're actually quite finicky today, usually you can catch a hundred of these in five minutes, they're just not taking it down very far, <laughs> I got the big one, <laughs> finally, took a lot of persuading that fish, get him on hook there, that's a perfect representation of a nice fat goby there, look at the belly on it, it's been eating all the flies that fall in the rock pool. <laughs> awesome. Let's go pick up some crab wheels. I caught five gobies. Champion. <laughs> Sam's after those big ones. He don't want the kiddies fish. Go on, Sam. Use those muscles. <laughs> Where is that spider? What you got there, boss? Looks like the same little uh yeah it looks like the same little female isn't it yeah it shows there's not a lot of spiders around at the moment we were lucky to get that big one yeah definitely hey ho cannonball get it back out hopefully this last wheel's got something we're gonna be sharing a spider crab today sam <laughs> how we're gonna clean the spider crab guys you've seen this before on the channel and all we like to do is get the uh, claws and the legs and you're aiming to hit the front of the shell on the rock to knock it off or you can pull it off but it's quicker just to hit it so we quickly get that done and all you're doing is cleaning all of the dead man's fingers off and this crab is well and truly dead now beautiful and then on the back of here you can pull this back and it takes out all of his reproductive organs all of the poo track and all the little fish in this rock pool are gonna have a field day <laughs> so we're feeding feeding the fish as well as feeding ourselves and that's all it is give it a good rinse off there you go that's one fresh crab ready to go and you give it give it a split in half one each for me and sam and into the cook pot and this, all we're going to do is get some fresh seawater about, about an inch in the bottom and we're going to steam this crab and that's all you really need. Okay guys, we've got our spider crab and all we're doing is just putting about three quarters of an inch to an inch of water and in the rock pools here we got some fantastic size thick top shells so what we're going to do is grab all the biggest ones we can find just like that, that's a fatty that one and we're going to grab a few of those for our meal. Hell yeah. Some beauties here, eh, mate? Lovely size. Yeah. Be great. You've got the hooks to get them out with. We'll leave those smaller ones. Grab a few more big ones. We're eating well tonight. Just showing you guys. Look at the abundance of thick top shells we have around here. There's absolutely thousands of them. So there's no shortage. We ain't gonna starve anytime soon, eh, sir? Definitely not. I think we've got enough there now. We've got a good handful of winkles. 
or thick top shells and a nice half a spider crab each. Beautiful. We got fire. And all we're doing, we're gonna let these boil up. There's cold water in there now. So once it starts boiling, we're gonna give it about seven to 10 minutes and then we're good to eat. I'm gonna get a couple of hooks out ready for the winkles or thick top shells, whatever you wanna call them. They're snails and they all taste good. So that's all it is really for cooking and then we're feasting, baby. You enjoyed your surf today, buddy? Always. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my food now. Yeah, we haven't had a spider crab in a while. Well, you haven't, sorry. I haven't had it since last year. Yeah. First spider crab of the year, Sam. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nearly there now. Smelling absolutely delicious. Gonna give it another minute just to let the crab cook through. And then we're gonna be eating good, baby. Just giving you a quick glimpse of the meat here, guys. You can see brilliant white meat. Absolutely delicious as well. Oh yeah. Smelling good, boss. Smelling delicious. Oh yeah. Seafood platter. We got some nice winkles here. Massive ones as well. And a nice fresh bit of spider crab. Beautiful. And with winkles, what you're doing is you're gonna hook it and then spin the shell around as you're pulling it out. There we go, spin it round and it pulls it all out together. Mmm. Haven't had winkles in years. It's been a while, eh? Mmm. That's delicious. You cannot beat fresh spider crab. Whoa, oh, that's amazing. Oh, it's been so long since I've had this. That brings back some memories, eh, mate? Oh, that's a big one. Look at that. Yeah, that's amazing, eh? Lovely. Cooked perfectly as well. Delicious, eh? I need to go get a rock in a minute to crack the claws. Those winkles are delicious. Nice, eh? Yeah, because you've got the, the flavour of the spider crab as well. Mm -hmm. Brings the sweetness into them, eh? Yeah, it does, big time. Oh, it's been too long. <laughs> Can't be that, guys. Little two hour trip. Spider crab to share. We'd rather have one each, eh, mate? Yeah. <laughs> but this is good enough. Yeah, you can't, you can't beat that. A few little snails, just to fill us up a bit. Devour it. I can eat this every day. Easy, mate. That's amazing. Just giving you guys a nice close up of what it looks like when we crack the crab. We get the shell off. Just like that. You can see nice chunks of white flesh and that is absolutely delicious. And with the thick top shells, you go in the side and then you can pull them out, twisting as you go. Oh, I broke that one. You get the idea, you can get the meat out like that and that is absolutely delicious. What a 
day, eh? Beautiful, though. Yeah. Oh, look at that, broke yeah. straight away. We just get mouthfuls, eh? It's lovely, yeah. It's definitely my favourite track. Oh, hands down. Oh, a long way. A long way. Yeah. Oh, I miss spider crab fishing. We were very lucky to get a, a decent male. It's very early on in the season at the moment. Uh, soon we should have some really big ones come in. And you know full well we're going to be on them. <laughs> Hopefully we can show you some like, really, really big spider crabs. They get about three times the size of this one. And they all taste delicious. Oh shit, I lost my claw. Uh -huh. No! <laughs> oh my claw! And we've still got the crab wheels out. So we'll be, we'll be picking those up in a minute and hopefully... Hopefully... Ha <laughs> ha! You lost it! Well we are. And hopefully we get another nice one to cook at home. That'd be nice. What a day, eh mate? Love to be there. This is what you call self-isolation. Right, we're going to finish off our meal now, guys. Hopefully, we'll be back with you in a second, and hopefully we got a crab in the wheel. Stay tuned. Caveman. <laughs> Sam's hunting for that spider crab. <laughs> what a beautiful day. Look at the scenery around here, guys. It's absolutely stunning. Big female. Size of that for a female. It's not a bad size female spider there. You see the apron? We definitely don't want it though. Quite heavy that crab as well. So we keep all that up. Go get the other wheels up. Finish it off. We got another spider, baby. A bit smaller than the last one. Do you want it before we miss it, Sam? Yeah, go for it. Happy days. Another nice male spider there. Perfect cook off. Nice and heavy. Let's get the other wheels off. Sam's turn to pull up a monster. Come on, Sam. Get those beasts. What's the verdict? Nothing. Oh, nothing. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next one, guys. It's worth saying the legal size limit for spider crab is 140 millimeters from the back of the shell to the front and uh, the legal size limit's a lot smaller than this and this is not a huge crab but it's all perfectly legal uh, some of the females we caught before were about dead on the size limit so it just shows how small that the size limit really is it needs to be upped really so that's all for today's episode guys fun little trip eh? yeah, it was really good. Really yeah good. couple of spiders it's really early on in the season that's why there isn't many but hey ho, we still had a nice feed, Definitely. a few winkles to top it off. So if you like my channel, like, subscribe. If you want to check out Sam's Instagram, uh, the link's always in the description. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. We really enjoyed this one. It's smart fishing. Woo!